This morning, a disturbing discovery along the Rio Grande. Security officials finding a body trapped in the buoys recently placed in the river across from Eagle Pass, Texas. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has been using the buoys and razor wire to prevent migrants from attempting river crossings. It's the only way we can cross, he says. The Mexican government condemning the buoys, saying we express our concern about the impact on the human rights and personal safety of migrants. Another concern at the border? Dozens of families now claim Texas state troopers have been separating families while detaining fathers on trespassing charges. The Texas Department of Public Safety say children have never been taken from their mothers, but there have been instances in which DPS has arrested male migrants on state charges who were with their family when the alleged crime occurred. It's a policy shift from 2021 when officials in Texas were told to keep families together. ABC's Ariel Rushev spoke with one family separated for more than two weeks after trying to migrate from Colombia. Like I'd never imagined before, it was a moment I couldn't control, that I worked extremely hard to create a home and that it was going to be destroyed and we would be denied all because of a decision. Meanwhile, big cities in the north, including New York, are feeling the impact of the immigration crisis. New York City is struggling to take in nearly 100,000 migrants who've arrived since spring of last year. The mayor is reportedly considering housing migrants inside tents in Central Park. We need help, and it's, it's not going to get any better. And more migrants are heading north from Latin America. The number of crossings at the Darien Gap, a dangerous stretch of jungle from Colombia to Panama, just hit an all-time high. More than 400,000 are expected to cross by year's end. As for the buoys along the border, the Justice Department is suing the state of Texas, claiming the state installed them illegally. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.